are you doing awake? Go on, go back to bed, you shouldn't be awake. Can't sleep. <sighs> to be fair, neither can I. Too many thoughts rattling around in my brain, which... Well, sleep doesn't come easy for me nowadays. Shh, 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 keep your voice down. Everyone is trying to sleep. And we must not wake them. Perhaps your company is going to be most welcome, seeing as there is nothing of worth in the Daily Prophet. Drivel. Rubbish. <laughs> Come, have a seat. Pull up a chair. Is it something worrying? Uh, that's stopping you from sleeping, something personal, or is it the house? <laughs> Grimoire Place is unique, very unique. I always hated it, always. It's too loud. The house is far too loud. It Grumbles, I find, groans, and it often keeps its heaviest of grumbling for night time, which, when you are trying to sleep, is not something that you want. <sighs> it's not mother, is it? If mother is keeping you awake, I can have a word with her. I might still be her child, but... Obey thy mother and father, rubbish. If it is mother, you must tell me, and you will, won't you? Yeah. Just trouble, then. In the old noggin. When I was your age, I barely slept. But for other reasons, <laughs> not <laughs> I, I didn't really have any inner trouble when I was your age, I just more caused trouble with, uh, with a few of my friends, uh, Remus being one of them. Re I know, you would not think that Remus would be such a fiend. But he is. He has a darker side to him, which he doesn't show very often. <laughs> but he was. I would possibly debate to say he was the worst of all of us. Uh, would you like some tea, by the way? Um, I should offer you that first, really, shouldn't I? Uh, uh, uh. Let's see what we can conjure up, shall we? Now, I'm not saying this is going to be particularly good tea. I've never been great at brewing it, by magic or by hand. Uh, but give that a sip. Uh, that was always James's forte, making tea. <laughs> I can tell by the grimace on your face that uh, my talents have not improved over the years. You don't have to drink it, I won't take any offence if you don't. Trust me, I won't. You, please don't drink anymore. Give, just give me the teacup. Can't be that bad, can it? Ah, that's pretty bloody awful. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Let's, uh, let's skip the tea, shall we? Uh, what were we saying? Age, age is making me forget things. I'm, uh, I'm older than I look. How old do you think I am? Oh, now you're being cheeky, and I, I appreciate that, and I like that. You should never lose your cheek. Mischief is something which this world needs more of, and uh, it's nice to see that 
It hasn't stopped in others. <laughs> mm. That was a time when I could just about tolerate this house when my brother and I regular we sometimes on rare occasions got along uh, and these occasions were rare so rare <laughs> that we also like now we also went through very very troubled times and that is what you're going through now I hate the fact that you are living through a time which so many of us try to stop from happening. And there are times that I wonder if it... if it was really worth all of our sacrifice. I'm getting all sentimental over it. Terrible sacrifices were made. We didn't quite understand it. And we didn't understand it really at all when we were younger. It was it seemed like a great game to us. And our parents tried to stress to us how we shouldn't joke about all these worries, but how could we not? And how can you not? You must find the fun in everything, even the bad. You must make time to laugh. You must make time to sm smile exactly like that. <laughs> Precisely like that. James, that Harry's father, was always very good at making people laugh. He had this talent, this natch, knack, this uh, natural ability. It was the sort of magic that can't be taught. He and Lily. Lily always knew the right thing to say uh, uh, and I'm trying to think about what she would want me to tell you now to comfort you. If you're having trouble sleeping, uh, maybe we should wake up Remus. <laughs> He'd be better. I'm sorry that you are struggling. Truly, I am. I... A worried mind is never a nice thing to live with. Never. Let us see if we can undo those little knots in your head, even a little bit, shall we? What's troubling you so much? What is causing so much burden on your shoulders like this? When the world is still so full of wonder, and reason to smile despite hardships, despite all uncertainty. And we are living in a time which is truly uncertain. But there are still good reasons to keep going. Remus would probably say that chocolate is one of them. <laughs> Friendship is certainly one of them. Being cherished, being loved. Love is such a strong emotion and it's the greatest lesson you can ever learn. And sometimes it hurts. <laughs> sometimes it hurts an awful lot. Have you ever been in love? I fell in love years ago, uh, and time, the test of, has not altered my affections in the slightest.
Time is something that cannot erode love. It can erode our beauty, for some of us. <laughs> it can erode our energy, or our mind. But it can never whistle down our ability to love one another. That is something that no one can steal from you, from me, from any of us. You still seem unconvinced. I can still see little frown lines gathered like husky storm clouds between your eyes. I must try better. Right. Think about what made you happy as a child. I, I don't mean I don't mean a teenager. I don't mean the age you are now. I don't mean. I mean as a child, when you were little, just learning to run, just learning about the world, when the world had absolutely no rules and regulations to it, when you were without worry, when the world was a stage for you to play upon, you could be whatever role you wished. What, what was it that made you happy? What was it that you went to? Did you um, play pretend? Did you read? Did you play games like hide and seek or go to your siblings? Did you cook? Did you bake? Did you draw? What was it? What was the activity when you were small that gave you insurmountable pleasure? Think. Just a minute. Think, think hard. Ah, uh, now you're overthinking. Stop. Relax. Breathe in. Hold. And now. Release. Think again. What was it? There must be something. Tiny little secret hidden away. What is it? There, I saw it. I saw it in your eye. You know what it is. Ah, you can't, you can't hide it. I saw it. Whatever that is, that's what you need to be doing. You need to look into the mirror and you need to look deep into your own eyes and find that spark again. That's your inner child, that's, that's past you, that's little, little, tumbling, toddling you. That's still inside you. We never lose our inner child. Uh, I, yeah. Remus would definitely say that I never lost it. I still act like a child. I think we all grow up a little too fast. The world forces us to. But you must look in the mirror and you must see that inner child and you must address them. Make them proud. They had such dreams of what your life would be. And happiness, happiness is the only concern of a child. All that we want when we are little is to be happy. So you must serve the inner child and do whatever makes you happy. Uh, within <laughs> lawful reason, of course. <sighs> I can still hear my inner child. Uh, terrible troublemaker that he was, is, still is, to this day. <laughs> The world needs more silliness. We lose our ability to make fun of ourselves. We are so afraid of what everyone thinks of us, how we look, 
how we act, how we speak, how we dress, how we... Yeah, all of it is a waste of time. Caring so much about what other people think of us. No, no. Don't do that. Whatever you do. <laughs> Take it from me. Never be too serious. <laughs> uh, will that joke ever get old? No, probably not. I tolerated that through too many of my years. Serious, 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 serious. <laughs> uh, at least I didn't get burdened with the name Regulus. I'd rather be serious than regular. <laughs> There's nothing regular or normal about me. And I've always liked that. And I found people who accepted that. I found friends who embraced my weirdness. Never settle for people who do not love you for exactly who you are. You have a wonder, a magic to you, and you deserve to be cherished. You deserve to be appreciated. And people will come into your life that won't appreciate that, and they will possibly abuse it and use it. And uh, I think I'm onto something here. Ah, right. If someone does not love you for every part of you, the good and the bad, they do not love you. They must accept all of your faults and flaws because that is what makes us us. We are composed of good and bad elements, all of us. All of us are capable of being fallible. No one is perfect. No one is without fault or blame. And it is often very good to look at oneself and realize that sometimes we are the problem. You are the problem. I know that I have made terrible, terrible mistakes especially in my youth. Awful mistakes. But that does not make me a bad person, as it does not make you a bad person. The important thing is to learn from it, to get up and do better, and of course to say sorry if you are in the wrong. And it's the hardest thing to do. <laughs> but make sure you surround yourself with people who adore you and watch carefully for those who do not clap when you are doing well. If people around you do not celebrate your successes, no matter how small they are, then they are not your friends. Hmm. Friends should excel you, push you forward. Just the house settling. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, I'm sure. What was I saying? Hmm. Oh. Of course, being accepted. I know, I know, life is hard. It is complicated. But that is what makes it worth living. That is what makes it so wondrous. It would be so terribly boring if it was simple, if it was easy. Has this given you something to think about? Some sort of relief to this terrible insomnia, which both you and I are now currently suffering from? Hmm. Well, maybe I'm just an old fool rattling off 
diatribes of rubbish. <laughs> uh, there may be something has uh, hit home. Maybe something has rung true for you. I hope so. Would you like more tea? Would that help? <laughs> no, I didn't think that it would. I didn't think so, I didn't think so, I didn't think so. Ah, well. You really must go to sleep. You must try and get some form of rest. Uh, these are troubled times, and it is not made easier with troubled sleep. Just try laying on your back and let your mind wander. Don't let yourself get distracted by anything else. Just close your eyes and escape. Dream while you're still awake, and you'll slip away into a dream. And hopefully it'll be a peaceful slumber. Hopefully. <laughs> yes, yes, I know I should also go to bed. You don't need to lecture me. Uh, you do sound like Remus. Remus. Fine. I will go to bed. If you will go to bed. Does that sound like a deal? Shake on it. Good. Fine. Then let us both retire. I'm certain that the day ahead will bring us good reason to smile. And if you ever need me at all, you can talk to me. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Just because I'm Harry's godfather doesn't mean I can't dispense my indispensable advice to others. <laughs> or my bloody rubbish, whatever you want to call it. Uh, come on, let's go. Otherwise, Molly is going to find us, and she will not be so kind. She will boss us to bed. <laughs> Come on. Off you go. And I hope that you manage to sleep. All right. Good night. Stay magical. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.